Hopefully I can squeeze in a little bit of recording time for you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and work on this guy right here. Now, is he... Hey there, it's Big Tony over here at Nat G coming at you with a little Beacon Rush action. We are on the Dreadnought map. And this is, uh, this is my last match of 2023, guys. Uh, you'll be seeing this, I believe, on the 30th. Uh, that would make tomorrow would be, uh, well, New Year's Eve. Well, here in the States it will be. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but it has been a wild, wild ride in, uh, this year. This is my, you know, I've just completed, this is like uh, my first full year back in the game. Uh, if you count it out, I've been in back for about a year and a, a little bit, a little bit over a year and a half now. But uh, definitely has been just a wild ride since I came back and the game has just really, I mean, just really took off as far as complexity, monetization, uh, bots and power levels. There's the power creep has just gone completely insane. But uh, definitely it's been a very eventful 2023. And I will do a year in review video coming up probably on the, uh, I'd say on the first or second, maybe. We, we shall see when I get a chance to do a little bit of recording. I do I do have some plans for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, so I'm, my, I'm going to hopefully I can squeeze in a little bit of recording time for you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and work on this guy right here. Now, as you can see, I've moved the ultimate halo over onto the Dagon. I really, really hope I can get a second one because I'd like to put two of them on here. Two ultimate halos and then two and then four splinters. This would be a pretty beasty build. Uh, if you guys watched uh, Adrian and Manny's video, and there's some other videos out there showing a six ultimate halo Dagon, just absolutely obliterating everything under the sun. It is kind of a a uh, broken build, but fortunately, there is no way on on this green earth. Am I going to be able to get a hold of six of them, let alone afford maxing them out to throw them on this? So just gonna have to deal with two if I can get it. Right now I got the one and I balanced it with a cudgel. So I have some shotgun action up front. I got the you know the splinters in back, which are kind of a shotgun as well. So this is this is definitely a shotgun dagon. There we go. There's Alex Rayosa there. Who's yeah, yep, yeah, that is what's running on top there. Oh, it's a he's running a Sonic Ocho. Okay, that's interesting. We'll take it off the battlefield, but still, that, that's an interesting build. Close range, I think, would I'm sure is an absolute wrecking ball. All right, let's get this guy a little love. There's the god, like sweet, just getting a good run here. And hey, there's one of my favorite B Squad builds right there, the uh, Angler. And he's got the shotguns on there. Hammer and cudgels. That's just a nice, nice build. Okay, that's an Ophian, so I'm not going to go out in the open. There's no reason to go out there and put myself in harm's way on that. And there's another Ophian. Expect that to get nerfed in 2024. It is going to get a hard, hard nerf. Uh, I see that it's uh, showing up in you know the you know in the gray slash blue data pads. Uh, so you're going to see a lot of them being you know acquired by people it's going to take a hard nerf. When I see that, I know it's going to get nerfed hard. I've got two of them, and I've I'm stopped leveling them. I'm not going to take it past MK2 level 4 or 5. Uh, I just know it's going to get nerfed hard, and it's going to get probably put in the back seat of my hangar as far as uh, bots from bygone eras, just like the Fafner, the Aojun. There are so many of those bots that are just, uh, you know, you had to, they just had to be... Bench because they've been nerfed so hard. Oh, nice, nice. We got just just pounding on him here. This is great. I'm doing some nice damage. Uh, these splinters do a pounder punch, and of course, I'm getting some nice damage in with that halo as well. There's a Titan Slayer. So sweet. All right, let's work on. It. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna survive it. I was kind of hoping I can get the Nodens as well. Uh, just pounded on these guys. This is this is. I'm not going to say it's an epic match, but I'm going to say this is an awesome match. Uh, my 20 kill match, which is a few videos back. Now, that was an epic match. But let's, uh, okay, let's, yeah, let's go up over the top here. I'd like to run right between there and jump. I just know that guy's going to get right in my way. So I'm going to have to wait to get a good lineup. And then we're going to give some ultimate love to the enemies down here. Let's go ahead. There we go. There's Alex. Give Alex a little love. There we go. 
And GNX82, we're going to get rid of you as well. And Alex is back with another. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Seraph. It's a Feather Destrier. We're, we're going to take you off the battlefield, pal. And this is going to go quick, guys. I mean, seriously, we've got all of the beacons. Uh, really did some nice work with the Dagon. Don't think I'm going to get to drop my Titan at all. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Get... Ah, got him. Nice. Got him with the Tamer. Sweet. This is just, this is a pounder. This is definitely good. This is, we're well over 10 kills here. And that's going to be it. Wow. That was a fun one. What a way to end 2023 with a bang. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the tail of the tapes and we're, we're out of here. 13 kills and five beacon caps. That's an authoritative win. Gotta like that. Alrighty, guys, uh, I'm going to wish you guys a happy New Year's. And if you guys plan on going out and uh, engaging in a little libation, make sure that you have a safe and sober ride. Alrighty, guys, time to bail out here. We'll see you in 2024. And of course, stay safe and healthy. Watch out for each other. I'll catch you on the battlefield. <laughs>